What's up, guys? Hey. Good morning. Oh, jeez. Ah. I swear to you. This stand makes my life very difficult. Oh, my God. There you are. All right. What is up? I have something interesting to share with you today. Cheers. Good morning. Good morning. Hi, children. Do you guys see my little babies? Hi, babies. They hear me start talking and they think that means I'm talking to them. So I wanted to share something interesting with you. Um, some of you may have heard of this before. It's something I've done for years. And uh, I just got a little reminder this morning about it. So it's seducing creativity uh, or seducing like your mindset or your focus. And dude, it, it completely works. So when I first like heard it explained that way, it was in the book, um, Big Magic. Let me turn my sound off here. It was in the book, Big Magic by Elizabeth Gilbert initially. Um, but geez Louise. Good morning, everybody. Thanks for jumping on. Um, but I remember talking about like, I always said in the beginning when I first started working from home, like you actually want to get shit done. You want to actually be productive. You need to put some pants on. That's why I used to always tell everybody when they'd be like, how do I be productive at, at home? Like I get so um, unfocused and I can't have no, I have no motivation, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, yeah, because you're in your freaking pajamas, like with your hair on top of your head, which we all have those moments. Don't get me wrong. But like every single day when you're in dirty clothes and you haven't washed your face and you haven't showered and God only knows how long and you're in the pajamas that you wore yesterday all day, like no joke that you're not going to feel focused and productive and good about yourself, right? So like years ago, I created a video called You Want to Get More Done, Put Some Pants On. So basically that was the first time I ever thought of that, but like now it's even more so like I take it to a whole nother extreme and a lot of other people do too. So I just really, really want to explain this to you because it's huge. So if you're not feeling like you're getting enough done, you're not feeling um, like you're showing up the way that you want to in your day to day, you are not focused. You're not getting like if for those of you who are creatives, you need to be creative, whether it's in marketing or writing or whatever it is that you're doing. If you're not feeling creative, it has a lot to do with you physically and mentally how you feel when you're showing up big time. Good morning, Emily. So it's the art of seducing creativity. Okay. So like, for example, yesterday I had a bunch of shit to do in the morning. So I did not do my hair. I had it in a big crazy ponytail all day yesterday. When I say I got stuff done yesterday, yes. But do I feel like I was in a good mood, like high vibe, things are going well yesterday? No. Do I feel like I was creative yesterday? No. I sat down and wrote. It was not my normal situation. I was like, Ugh. but so for example, I reminded myself this morning, like you got to, you dress for like the mood that you want to have. Okay. Like some days I'm all about just being lazy. Most days I'm going to the gym. So I put on yoga pants and gym shirts, but I wear cute workout clothes. So I feel still feel good about myself but like today I'm not going to the gym till super late so I'm like you know what I'm seducing the fuck out of creativity today like big time got up early took a long shower did my hair you know makeup dress I have like real clothes on today like I want a real actual like top and black pants and I feel like a whole nother person it's crazy but basically Already, what time is it, you guys? It's still super early. I don't even know what freaking time it is. 9 o'clock? 9.15? Basically, already today, I've already written three articles. I've had so many ideas coming through my head. My focus and attention are just on a whole other level. And I promise you that it is a complete mindset shift when you decide to show up a certain way in the morning. Or just even in the middle of the day. Like, say you're in the middle of your day, especially for those of you who if you work from home um, or like even on a Saturday when you're like, you're just not feeling super motivated to get anything done, get up, like take a shower, splash your face with water, change your clothes, put, do your fucking hair, like do something, do something to make yourself feel better, to feel good about yourself. A lot of people are like, oh, that's, you know, that's a little 
ridiculous Jamie like I need to put on pants or like look physically good in order to be more focused and get shit done yes actually you do because it's actually a brain fuck like it's a mindset when you are in your pajamas in bed you are likely less focused and likely there's a part of your brain that shuts off that does not keep you in that state of mind that you would be in if you were in you know out in public dressed ready for your day do you understand like there is a actual this is like science this is not just me making this shit up this is real in something in your brain that clicks when you are up and dressed and ready for the day there, there not, there's no like oh shit I hope nobody you know knocks on my door today because I look like a homeless person like there's a whole nother state of mind so it really just breaks down to like seducing the shit out of the mindset that it is that you want like if you are not feeling that vibe you're not feeling the flow you're not focused you're not feeling creative change it like you have the power to change it like get up and change it whether that's and sometimes that's just as much as just changing your atmosphere and going somewhere else um you know meaning like going to a coffee shop or a co-working space or to a park or whatever but a lot of times it has it can just be good getting up and getting dressed and like dressing yourself up for what it is that you're trying to accomplish right like that's just the truth so I just thought it was funny it's something that a lot of people don't put two and two together they don't put that together and, and realize that like the way you show up mentally is extremely important, but also the way that you show up on how you feel. So if you, you know, just got a new haircut and you put on a new shirt that you feel good in and you walk into a meeting, you feel a lot more confident in yourself. And I guarantee that most likely your presentation or what your presence there is going to be a lot more on point and high vibe than it would if you rolled out of bed five minutes before the meeting, didn't have a chance to even brush your hair and threw on a shirt that had a stain on it. Do you get what I'm saying? Like, it is a conscious effort that you have control over um, on how you show up and, and how you make yourself feel, okay? It's the same thing with, like, if you chose not to drink your coffee this morning when you know that your coffee is what makes you feel, like me, a human. Like, it makes me feel like a human being. So if I chose not to drink my coffee this morning and thought I could walk in, you know, into my day and be focused and have energy that would be kind of like me fucking myself over, right? That's just what you know about yourself and it's just paying attention. It's almost playing like, playing a little game with it and that's why I really like, it is seducing creativity. And anybody who works from home can tell you it's, it's, it's like legitimately reality. It's just it. Like I didn't really have a big plan to do a bunch of videos today or anything like that. I have to go drop my Jeep off here in about five minutes to go get the oil changed and stuff, but I was just this morning, it's like 6 a.m., I'm making my coffee, I'm letting the dogs out, and I'm like, what am I going to do differently today than I did yesterday to make today better and today more successful and today more on point and me be in control of what I want today to be? Like, I have a long list of things to accomplish today, a lot of them being cre creative-based, like a lot of writing that needs to be done, a lot of um, going back through my own content that needs to be done, a lot of um, looking at video and things like that. So I wanted to be in a certain state of mind today. So 6 a.m. this morning, I'm looking at my stuff and I'm thinking to myself, like, what am I going to do differently today to be in control of how I feel? And so what I did, I seduced the shit out of creativity. Here I am. I'm ready. I'm seducing it currently. Like, hey, you know, you want to work with me, creativity? Come on, bring it on, bring it over here. I put on my favorite um, audio book. I put it on the big speaker and listen to it while I was in the shower and everything. It just makes me feel in a great mood. It puts me in high vibe. I've probably listened to it more than someone should ever listen to the same book ever. But Big Magic, like I mentioned it earlier, and I have now set the exact tone for how I want my day to be. Like I've, I've show, decided how I want to show up in this moment. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. Um, Anthony, yes, I guess this could be considered coffee thoughts. I did do my coffee thoughts this morning. Um, just another thing that had popped into my head even before I was in the state of mind that I'm in right now. So, yeah. I just wanted to share this with you guys. I hope you have an amazing day. Just remember that you really do have control of what's going on up here and how you decide to use that to, to create whatever it is that you want to create. So, 
go out there and uh, seduce whatever it is that you're trying to bring into your space. And when I mean that, I don't mean like go seduce men or women. I mean, I mean, if that's your thing, like do what you do, but I don't, I'm not condoning that. I'm just saying <laughs> that I'm, I'm here currently today seducing the shit out of creativity because I have lots of things that need to come out of my head. So there's that. Cheers to all of you beautiful people. I gotta go take my Jeep to the shop. I will talk to you all soon. Have an amazing day. See ya.